Hello everyone and welcome back to another round of PK Crash Plays. We are doing a surprise playthrough of Final Fantasy VI. I know I was saying I was going to do a back-to-back -back one for this weekend and we still probably will, but I have decided instead of trying something new or doing something in between that I would see if I could actually finish this up before we start Cyberpunk next week. Kind of leave no loose ends hanging there. So, with that in mind, we are going to actually continue forward with this pretty much every day this week, uh, all the way up to Cyberpunk, or until I beat this. So, without further ado, let's actually continue on. When we last left off, we had just come from Albrook with the Empire to try and talk the Espers down from destroying everything. And we got ourselves Shadow again in the group. Oh no! I forgot these stupid things sneeze and basically send your people off the battle map. So she just missed out on some experience points. Sorry, Terra. <clears throat> Let's see what I'm at now with Shote. I'm halfway almost to Doom. I need Doom for something that I'm gonna do probably in a little while. Um... There we go. Man, he's already almost halfway there to getting Fire Ice and Bolt. Mr. Easy Street. Okay, saving it there. And we're gonna keep on going to Thamasa. One of my favorite areas. Cephalor and Baskervor. Yeah, eat my at my weapon. I forget that he's got that on him still. Nice. Got some magic points. So there's obviously a secret going on in this village, and you'll start learning it as we start talking. Espers? What in blazes are they? If they're animals, talk to the old guy that lives on the edge of town. Hmm... For some reason, the innkeeper doesn't like strangers. So if we go and try and sleep at the inn right now, we are considered strangers, and he will charge us like... A hundred thousand fold, basically. Like, just the ri most ridiculous amount of money to sleep there. And we're not gonna do that because we are setting my main man Locke here up with a Hawkeye. Actually, I'm gonna set him up with two. Because I'm gonna set up my girl Terra here with the Atma weapon. Okay, so, there we go. Check out that magic. This is one of my favorite weapons in this game, and it's because of what it does, um... So, basically, it's, it's two kinds of weapons. It's both a flail and it's a throwing star, basically. Um... It can do it based on critical hits, and it's actually got a high rate of critical, so... It's really easy for you to do that. She gets the Atma weapon now. Nice. And that's as good as he gets, so okay. We're gonna keep on going. I'm gonna sell off... Ooh, the Tempest. I'm gonna keep that. I will sell off these two things because they stink, and these two things also stink. Gotta keep all those things. I'm gonna get better stuff for him, so I'm gonna sell off that Kaiser Claw, it sucks. And the ninja gear. These cards can go to hell. Same with that bandana. 
bandana and no mithril vests. I'll keep those for throwing, and you'll see why later on it's going to be actually a really good thing that I did that. Selling the Imperial, plumed hat, keeping the Thunderblade. Okay, got a lot of money now. So, see what we can equip our boy here. Tiara doesn't do anything special, so we're not going to worry about that. The Mystery Veil. Okay, well, I've got to do that now. Power Sash. Gotta get two of those at least. Oh crap. Gaia gear is better. Oh, it absorbs the Earth Elemental, and it's one defense better. Of course, I just spent all that money. Okay, well, we are going to resell those things I bought. Power Sash. Going away. Come on. Okay. Well, that takes care of that. We're going to optimize real quick. Bing, bang. Bing, bang. Put her back on the ammo weapon. And bing, bang. Cool. Gaia Gear will be our friend going forward. I'm excited to test out his two Hawkeyes. It's one of my favorite parts of the game when I finally get to use those. Alright, so we've been talking to people around town, <clears throat> and this is our contact we're supposed to meet. What you want with me? An elderly gentleman, pure of heart, and learned in the ways of monsters. Everyone say hello to Strago. He's our blue mage. Or Strago, Strago, I can't remember which one's more correct, but I'm gonna go with Strago. Aspers? Aspers? Hmm. Mm hmm. Not really familiar with that word. But you've heard it before. Nope, uh, uh, can't say I have. Honestly, can't say I have. That's odd. Grandpa! Oh, another new character. Hey! Hey! What blazes are... What are you doing? In her pictures, she captures everything. Forests, water, light, the very essence of life. Say hello to Realm. She is our Pictomancer. Grandpa, who are these people? Friends? Can they use magic too? Yeah! Hush! What a cute doggy! Get away. He bites. Go to your room. I will not. What a fuzzy old man. Please leave us. Well, all right. Oh boy. Seems to like your dog. What a sweet puppy. This is terrible. Sorry. No problem. The dog usually doesn't like people, though. Please excuse her. She's just young. Hmm. This is just a backwater village. We can tell you nothing about your espers. I see. There's something wrong around here. Let's have a look around. Thanks for your time. Sorry I couldn't have been more helpful. Interceptor, come.
Oh, all right. Time to go investigate the village and find out what they're hiding. And we're gonna start by going up here. Oh, nope. My bad, we're not gonna start up there. Haha. <laughs> Welcome, welcome, magic. What is this magic? I think I have to be doing that one a bit later. I have to go over here, and I will witness some magic. Uh huh? What was that? Mama, it hurts. Oh, all right. Cure. Medicine. W where is my cure medicine? Mama, please use cure on me. Hmm. Place swears it knows nothing about magic, but they're casting cure spells. Hmm. Have you met Little Realm? She loves to paint pictures. Wonder if she'd do my portrait. So I did that first one. That's the cure one. Oh, and this is where... Fire! Fire! Yeah. Oh no. Pyromaniac. I think there's supposed to be a third one up here, too. I think. No, I guess not. Weird. For some reason, I remember there was a third, like, magic moment where you see them doing something else. Hmm. Well, nothing there. Okay. Well. We've seen magic in the village, now we know that he's obviously lying and that the whole village is in on something. What a beautiful day. Interceptor, please come back and again and play. So they're obviously not going to talk to us. They're still trying to keep their secret even though we've blown the lid off that joint. So we need to go talk over here and set ourselves up for the night. So, it was about like a hundred thousand gold pieces before, and now that we've talked to Realm, uh, to Realm and Strago, and we've gotten to be known around the village, now it's one gold piece. So, we're gonna relax for a spell. This is awful! Realm, she's... Realm's in danger? Yes! She was at a neighbor's house when a fire broke out. I won't be able to stand it if something happens to her. Please, won't you help? Shadow. Well, so much for that. Interceptor, where are you? Guy running around like a chicken with his head cut off. Oh, there's Strago. Realms inside that house! What are you doing? Flames be gone! Uh oh, he casting magic. Magic is forbidden! Magic? I don't care! Realm's inside! 
Flames be gone! Mayor. All right. We really have no choice. Stand back. Flames be gone! Flames be gone! Flames be gone! It's no use! The fire's too strong! I think that's because they keep so many fire rods in here. I'm going in! Wait, I'm going too! Yeah, count me in. You'd better stay out here, Gramps. Fool! I may be old, but I'm not powerless. <laughs> Quickly! Try to avoid the flames. Easier said than done. Hurry! We have to find Realm! Ah, I forgot to get an ice rod. Should have done that. I completely forgot again. Darn it. Oh well. Um. Ah, uh, Shiva. Then that's as good as it's gonna get there. Okay, so. Shoot, what do I have for him? Ah, uh, shoot. Let's just go ahead and throw some earrings on him, and that's only one pair, because we have the other two on her. So... You know what? I'm gonna raise the chance for preemptive attacks. Why not? We could use it. Okay. Let's go. So... Obviously, these are really narrow corridors. There's no escaping all these balloons, so... But now we are going to see both Locke in action and the old man. Yep, there's the Hawkeye. That 1800 was done by him using the critical maneuver of the Hawkeye, so he throws it and it basically does triple damage. And he knows Aqua Rake, which is a water spell that kills all the balloons. So, yeah, the old man is, like I said, he's a blue mage, and uh, he learns these spells, obviously, from enemies out in the wild. Um, he's different from Gao in that Gao more or less learns by becoming the enemies, like, basically taking their form, like a beast master. Whereas, he is, like I said, he's a blue mage, so he just takes certain spells that they cast, like Aqua Rake, or uh, if they did self-destruct, I think he would learn that, too. And... You know, they use it in their stead, so they can use the spells and abilities of monsters. <clears throat> Which makes Strago very, very useful going forward. Yeah, check out that critical action. Locke is a beast. I can't remember what Terra has right now. She has the unicorn, that's right. She's learning all those things. She knows ice, doesn't know ice too. You know what? Safe and Shell and Dispel are all good. But I really need another person besides Locke knowing ice too. Especially because she's got the earrings and the morph ability, so she should be basically like our spellcasting god here. Oh well. Yeah, Locke's tearing it up still. This is basically free experience points, by the way. You know, like, it's a Strago basically destroys every one of these things on the field. It's all the same monster. It's all a bunch of fire demons and whatnot, and he's got his Aqua Rake, so. Oh, wait, I started off as him. Never mind. Aqua Rake. Nice. Cleared the field.
getting two magic points every time I kill off a whole crew of those. So I can do that all night long. Whee! So I believe the Hawkeye is like a big ass boomerang. Think like Songo from Inuyasha. But it just looks really wicked the way that he throws it. I don't know, maybe it's just me. Super cool though. Cure two on everyone, nice, we are all set. Alright, so there's only one door that it goes the right way. The other one opens up with an enemy surrounding us, basically. So, we will see whether I choose the right one or not. But I need to get this old man an ether. Because he's about to run out of magic. Whee! Ooh, you learned dice. So I believe this door right here is the wrong one, and that's what I want, because I want to get more stuff, so... Let's see... Ethers. There we go. Boink! Takes care of that. Yep, there we go. Wrong one. Fire enemies! We're surrounded. Luckily, Lock can take one side. And so can she. That should take care of that dude. And then he can take care of that side. And we can call it a day. Ba boom. Alright. Yeah, so trying to go back in there just causes more of them to spawn out. We're not really on a timer, so this is like a great way to get some extra experience and stuff. There we go. Fully healed. Whoa, Locke just put the smack down on that dude. Now she's gonna finish it off with a nice bolt. Nice. Okay. I have to take a quick break one second, guys. I will be back momentarily.
All right, sorry about that, everyone. My uh, my little buddy Anubis is in here with me, and he was looking to get out for some water real quick. So I think from here we're gonna go to the right because to the right I think is where the either the fire rod or the ice rod is being held. And I definitely need to get that. Because when he runs out of Aqua Rake, it's basically his only way of kicking a serious butt, so. I'm gonna have Locke try and steal, see if he can get himself a fire rod. I think you can get that from these guys. Ah, uh, of course. I took his thief ring off, so he's not as good at stealing now. That's okay. Cooked them all. Deadsies. I think Locke gained another level. That's insane. Yeah, fire rod. So these are also things that are good to throw or good to use, because using them as items basically casts the um, second tier version of whatever spell they have. So like a fire rod casts fire two, ice rod casts ice two, and it doesn't come with any magic use, so the only thing is you use up the item by using it like that, so it's a one and done thing. But it's good in a pinch, and she just learned fire two. Uh, by the way, I think she learned that on her own. Like, that wasn't something that, uh... Like, she learned... By having Unicorn, yeah. She learns spells on her own, so she learned Fire 2 because... When she gets a certain level, she just learns it. Regardless. That's the cool thing about Celeste and Terra, is that because they're both... You know, like, imbued in both... in separate ways. Her being an Esper and Celeste being imbued by magic te technology. They, um, they both learn spells at a level-based rate rather than just as a, uh, a, uh, Esper rate. So you don't even need to have Espers on them for them to learn new spells. Oh, that reminds me, I need to equip the Ice Rod on him. Because we are going to be coming up on a boss, and we have one more Aether. I have no idea if this is going to last long enough to do anything to the boss, so... Aqua Rake! I believe that's called Aqua Breath. In... The actual English translation. So... I think it's supposed to be technically like he like spews water out of his mouth. Like a faucet. Okay. Ether on Strago. There we go. Let's go to the boss. Oh, crap. I forgot. Ice Rod. Thank you. There we go. Now we're good. This is the source of our blaze. The Flame Eater. So he summons up these bombs. And that's why we have Aqua Rake here, because he's going to do that. I'm going to have her morph. And I'm actually going to try and steal from him. Because they're all dead. So while she's morphed, she has, like, super powerful spells. And since she doesn't have Ice 2, we're going to just have her cast Ice. But the good news is, that's going to do a lot of damage, as you can tell. I stole a, um... I stole a flame saber from him, so I got three of those now. So, hey. Oh, crap, I forgot. He's a weak old man. He can't handle being flamed. Potion up, otherwise I'm gonna die. Alright, time to smack him down. 
She's got one more round, I think, of this, so I'm gonna just do a quick ice. Ah, crap. I was hoping she's gonna last longer. Oh, crap, I forgot to get reflected. Crap, crap, crap. Um. Alright, time to Shiva up, buddy. I'm gonna elixir her because she's desperately in need of heals. She's gonna die. There we go. And yes, that's this thing's way of basically being like, hey, I'm gonna be super cheap and frickin' just reflect spells at ya. That's why I use Shiva, because he can't uh, reflect Shiva. And of course... Oh crap! That's not what I meant to do. Shoot. Well, got our elixir up now. Because I just lifed the wrong person. Luckily, he can't reflect Aqua Rake either, so that's another good thing. I'm gonna have him just do that again, and it should take out all those guys. Bum, 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 bum. Hopefully he won't fireball us all and kill Locke. Oh, cool. Got rid of him. Just took that last nice aqua rage to kill him. Got four magic points. He got ice too. Realm! Where are you? Oh, Interceptor. He saved her. Realm! We're uh, too late! Apparently the, um, some of the scaffolding collapsed and now we're all unconscious in the blaze. And poor Interceptor's fending off these bomblets by himself. Oh, but here comes Shadow. He's gonna be a total badass. Samurai Assassin. Let's get out of here. I'll use a smoke bomb. So smoke bombs are items you can obviously get in the game um, that let you escape from dungeons and stuff. It makes no sense outside of that context, but yeah. Apparently they act as warp spells. Are you okay? Yeah. Thanks, Grandpa. Save you thanks for these people. Thank you. I guess our town's little secret is out now. Can everyone here use magic? What's going on here? <clears throat> this is... The village of the mage warriors. Long ago, humans used magic sight to gain magical powers. They came to be known as mage warriors. But I thought they perished centuries ago. After the War of the Magi, the Espers fled to their new world behind the sealed gate. They wished to live peacefully, without fear of being used by humans. They left us here to fend for ourselves. But we were despised by normal people. Everyone felt we had begun that war. They sent people to hunt us down like animals. There weren't even any trials. Even though the only difference was that you could use magic? A few mage warriors escaped and found their way here. They were our ancestors. Our powers have weakened over time, but some of it remains. Look, if you're up to it, we could use your help. So, you're after the espers, eh? Well, I owe you for saving Realm. 
I'll help you find your espers. Me too? I don't think so. What a fuddy-duddy. But where do we start looking? Hmm. If they're here, they must be hiding in the mountains to the west. Why there? Those mountains have had powerful magical properties. They say the espers were created there. Maybe they're drawn to that place. I think it's worth a look. So she's just basically gonna sit there and repeat what a fuddy-duddy if I go and talk to her, so... We're not gonna worry about Realm right now. We gotta go talk to Shadow because he's about to ditch us again. Don't misunderstand me. I just wanted my dog back. Going somewhere? I'll search for the espers in my own way. Interceptor, come. So, with that taken care of, we got ourselves set up now to go to the mountains with our new buddy Strago, who doesn't seem to be able to equip anything either, so, oh, he can get a Gaia gear, but that's now available, so, Shadow's no longer wearing it. Have at it, old man. I guess I'll let him keep the fire rod since we're no longer fighting the fire dudes. She's got the Atma weapon, I've got the Hawkeyes. Looks like we're good. Oh, one thing though, I will change out real quick. He's got Shiva. Well, I'm gonna let him learn Rasp and Osmos because he needs those. Like I said, if he can learn to actually steal back his magic rather than needing to use uh, ethers, then we're actually in a good spot, so. All right, so we got that many. I'm gonna just do that, because we wanna make sure we got a good enough amount. That thing, too. That as well. Might as well get some of those. Yeah, might as well double down on that. There we go. Plenty of potions. Gonna get a couple of remedies as well. All right, we're pretty much all set now. I could technically go over to the uh, relic shop, which is over this way, but I don't honestly know what I could get for relics with this little amount of money that I have. I could buy another thing of earrings. Why not? Because everything else is more or less perfunctory. I've got some of this stuff. Cool. Okay. Well, there we go. Gonna mosey on out of town now with my new buddy. Oh yeah, and I got stuff in my key item inventory, the rare inventory as it's called, so. Alright, so now that we've done all that, we are going to save, because we are level 22 now. I don't want to backtrack on that progress. Now we are going to test out Strago in the field. So it takes a few battles for her to get her morph ability back. So you'll see it grayed out for a while while we wait. Oh, but he learned those, and I learned Doom. There we go. So, we're gonna probably see it today, um, after this stuff all fixes up and we get the airship back. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you guys how I'm going to power level some spells. 
while we're still here in the world of light because uh, once we step out, we're going to miss out on some good opportunities, so... I forget. I'm checking to make sure I'm going to put the Hawkeye back on there, but I believe... There we go. Same damage from back row. Cool. So I keep forgetting, because I'm a dum-dum, I need to go ahead and put Locke in the back row, because not only will he be able to soak a lot more damage, but he can also technically do the same amount of damage while taking less damage, so it's going to be a win-win. Yeah, there we go. So attacking with those rods, of course, also makes you do that. And I don't know why this Baskervoir loves to sneeze her away, but he does, so... But yeah, cool. Poor Terra keeps on missing out on experience points, but I guess that's the name of the game. Okay, so we're gonna just keep on going. Strange how I'm not doing as many crits now that I'm like in areas that matter. Oh, he's gonna sneeze Strago away. Friggin' crap. I forgot. This dude. Um, so attacks are really bad against him because he's made of adamantium. That's why he calls they call him Adamankite. So the way to do damage to him is either to use the Atma weapon, as you saw right there, because it does not um, you cannot mitigate the damage of the Atma weapon. It is a set fixture, meaning that it ignores defense, and it does damage based on your total health count. So, you can only fight him with the Atma weapon, or with magic, because they cannot block magic. So that's something. Digestive. So they basically shot acid all over, and now she's slowly being eaten away by it. So what the little health points are that are coming off of her. And I forgot, Locke does not need Shoat anymore. He has officially graduated. So what I'm going to do now... Uh... Okay, I'm going to take Unicorn off of her. Safe and Shell aren't really that necessary. I forgot she knows all of that. Get it better from Maduin. I'm just gonna have her do Maduin. Okay. He's still on Shiva. He's got that one. I'm gonna have him learn Cure later. So we're gonna give him Bismarck now and finish that whole mess off. And now he's gonna get Unicorn. So I can get some heals out of Locke finally. But now we're gonna go down here. This place is kind of built like a maze, so it's a lot of, like, circle back around parts, so... You'll see me do that a couple of times, but that's okay. Like here. I just went through the left and came out the top, so... Oh, but look who's behind us! Someone decided to follow along. And yes, Realm is that precocious little scamp that just comes along for battles, even if they're not supposed to. Block is, like, supremely overpowered here, by the way. Like, those freaking Hawkeye weapons are amazing. While she's doing 265 damage with her Atma weapon, he's literally over there clubbing for friggin' 1,000 damage. And hey, just to remind everyone, we are now officially one week out from Cyberpunk's release, because it will be releasing at 5 o'clock in the evening next Wednesday. So, huzzah for that. We are officially in the home stretch, my friends. Man, I have not gotten into crit with those Hawkeyes since. Oh, there's Realm again. 
She's really, really bad at stealth, guys. You gotta give her a break. Oh. There she is again. Almost got caught that time. Alright, so anyway. Attack. I'm gonna attack. He's gonna attack. And then from here, we're basically gonna hit this thing with our hardest spells. Don't think she has invisible. But she has fire too, so I'm gonna do that. Boop. Yeah! See, it's super, super weak against magic, so that's how you kill that thing, more or less. Alright, so we are coming up on another mini boss fight. So I'm going to potion up. They really haven't used any magic hardly, so we're gonna just. I can't believe it! The statues! These statues? Some faint lever letters are carved on the back of the stone figures. Say, old man, what else can you tell us about these goddesses? They're quite literally created magic. They, they quite literally created magic as we know it. So they're the goddesses of magic then? You could say that. I can feel their power. The statues are the source of all magic. It's said the espers made these images and put them in a very special place. These represent power beyond all comprehension. Our espers no doubt came to this island to bask in all this magical power. Say, old timer, what happened to the stone goddesses? Legend has it they're hidden somewhere beyond the reach of humans. I'd say they're beyond the sealed gate. I wonder if the barrier that protects that place is generated by these stone goddesses. Whew. What a story. If the espers were attracted here by these statues, they must be around here somewhere. I think it's worth a look. So Realm, of course, is still there. Oh, and look, it's our old buddy Ultros. Back for round three. <laughs> These shiny statues are all mine. These will get Siegfried's attention. Oh, oh, they're glowing. They're beautiful. Hey, Squidball, don't you ever learn? Uh, well, they always said I was a slow learner, but I eat fast. I was just thinking about you. I have more lives than I do arms. So obviously you don't want to throw, like, fire at him, I don't think, but ice too might work. We're gonna morph back up, because she knows some good spells now. I'm gonna hit him with fire too, because it's gonna be funny. I believe fire is the way to go anyway. Yeah, there's some heavy damage. Wait, what? Oh, I haven't saved up enough power for that to basically be worthwhile. I forgot. Crud. Yay! Oh, I couldn't steal. Yeah, I forgot, you gotta let her morph kind of like linger for a long while and use it only for special occasions, otherwise it lasts like all three seconds. Oh, now he's gonna haste up. And safe. Hope I'm not making a nuisance of myself. So sorry. Grandpa! I'm here! Realm! I told you to stay at home! I couldn't miss the chance to practice my drawing. 
Say, sweetie, who are you? How dare you? I'm Ultros! Realm and Ultros. What are you doing? Listen, Ulti. Why don't you pose for me? I'm not one of your kitty friends. Don't talk to me as if I were. I don't want a portrait. Forget it. I don't want to draw it anymore. It's okay. I'll just jump down from here. No, you can't do that! <laughs> How dare you bother that little girl! I'm not going to forgive you if you hurt her. Well, what do you want I should do? Ask her to draw your portrait. She may actually make you look pleasant. Don't be so heartless. Oh, all right. Uncle Ulti really wants you to do his portrait. <laughs> You're gonna love it. At any rate, come here. So we are going to now defend. And she is going to sketch. Because he is going to literally wreck us if we don't. And that was unfortunately something I couldn't stop, so... But there we go. Tentacle. Boom. How can this be? I'm nothing more than a stupid octopus. <laughs> hey, did you see me? I was awesome. Wouldn't I be more helpful than Gramps? G Gramps? I suppose it wouldn't hurt to have you along. All right, already. If you insist, that's better. So everybody, welcome aboard Realm. She has a Chocobo brush. And I'm going to keep her in it because if you don't have her with a brush, she can't do her sketch ability. And that's literally the whole reason to have her. So I'm gonna cure those off then real quick. We're getting ready to hit a safe spot anyway, so, you know. Be able to tent up. There we go. Gonna use that tent real quick. My boy Locke's got that moon shape on his tent. Save it up, and then we need to go to the right hole. I think it's actually the one up on the top, but I could not be sure. So do not get mad at me when it's wrong. Which it probably will be. Gonna burn that dude. Whoa! I forgot that he knows Blaster. It's a shame that she didn't actually kill him with that, because that would have been awesome. Nice. He learned to bolt and fire, and Terra went up a level. Okay, well. Falling down that hole. Ah, oh, yes. I did take the right one. Then go up here and do this. For the Chocobo suit, which I'm going to give to Realm. And give her back her Chocobo brush again. The Chocobo suit technically makes you look like a Chocobo, even though she doesn't look like one in battle. We're going to check this other avenue here. Locke's going to smack these two up.
There we go. Got some magic points. Oh, I haven't set up Realm yet. And he's got that Bismarck on him still. I'm not gonna hang out for a shoat, so he's got that one. I'm gonna have him learn Phantom. Fine. I'm gonna have her finally actually learn Bismarck and get herself off to a good start. It's always baby's first Esper. Oh, the tabby suit. Okay, so never mind. She needs to get the tabby suit now. Oh, it's not as good. But it's good for magic power, and that's why I need to get him. So he gets the tabby suit. There we go. Boink. Okay, from here, now I need to go over here and jump down off this bridge. Oh, nice. So yeah, there you go. Blaster can do an instant kill. It's really nice. Boom, boom. Dead. Strago got another level. Neo. Everyone's leveling up like at a pretty quick pace. Alright, so I gotta jump down here. Never mind. Alright, so since she has no relic, I'm gonna put sprint shoes on her because I'm tired of not using those. Oh, she does have a memento ring. I forgot. So, memento ring is an item, a special relic that can only be used by two characters in this game, and that's realm and shadow for some reason. Um, I mean, there is a reason, but it's kind of a spoiler reason. The memento ring's thing, though, says departed mum's love protects against fatal magic attacks. So it can be worn by Shadow and Realm, and it's basically like a protection against doom or death, stuff like that. Really good. I'm gonna put it back on her, obviously, because she needs to have it. But she's also gonna get the sprint shoes, because I'm not walking through this garbage. And of course, I'm stuck in a pincer attack. Gonna sketch him. So she learned her three elementals. Um, I'm gonna switch him out actually from the Gale, Gale hairpin to the uh, Charm Bangle. Just to kind of cut down on how many fights we're getting into right now. Hopefully we can get back to that area and I can go down the right path. Doop. It's obviously not the bottom one. We want to go over here to the far one and drop. And now this one takes it down here. Or we can go over this way. Assuming we don't keep getting attacked every five seconds. Gonna sketch him again because he's gonna she's gonna blast all those guys to pieces. Down time. I'll check over here, because it's another treasure chest. And that's an X potion. Never a bad thing to have. Now we're gonna take this bridge over here. Oh, oh crap, you can't cross over the bridge, I forgot. Well, we're gonna take the real way down now. And it's the bottom left one, the one I kept ignoring. There we go. Puts us on that island. Which means I can go up. And this takes us to where the espers are. And I have no idea why the game kind of hitches right there. It just does. It's weird.
There we go. Boom. Realm gained a level. There we go. Everyone's healed. Now here we go. Are these espers? Ooh. What about you? I didn't think they'd look so... Gramps, take Realm and clear out of here. Locked in. It was a trap. Halt. What is it? I sense some, some immense magical power in Terra. It frightens me. I wonder if she's gonna go ballistic again. You are somehow different. I sense a familiar power radiating from you. Yes. You're the espers that fled through the sealed gate? As a rule, we are not allowed to visit your world. We few had gathered near the gate, and were wondering how we could save the espers that had been kidnapped. It was just a coincidence that Terra appeared when she did. I felt your presence through the gate. We bolted the moment Terra opened the gate, but once in your world, we lost control of our powers. We completely leveled a city and took some innocent lives. That's what happened to me. I lost all control of my power. There must be something in your world that allows you to focus your power differently. You must use caution while in our world. We are deeply sorry to have caused you humans such a suffering and pain. The past is history. The Empire seems to want to talk peace with you. Why not come with us? They would forgive us so easily. Let's go to Thamasa and talk with General Leo. Right. General Leo, Locke, you're back, and you've made the Espers understand our desire for peace. I am General Leo. May I have your name, please? I am called Yura. We have done something inexcusable to your people. This probably isn't the time or place to ask for your forgiveness, but... Speak no further. It is we who owe you an apology. We hungered for your power. How close we came to reenacting the War of the Magi. We must put this all behind us. I believe our job is finally over. I, for one, could use some peace and quiet. Let's return to Vector. Celeste, please, not another word. I'm too hot, Grandpa. And kids.
<laughs> oh, shit. Oh, you traitorous bastard. <laughs> How about a little magic tech mayhem? What are you doing? <laughs> Emperor's orders! I'm to bring the magicite remains of these espers to his excellency. Behold! A magicite motherload! care for the pi the appearance of this pitiful little hamlet so burn it Kafka no shut up Say hello to General Leo, everyone. We get control of him for only this short little moment here. So we gotta make it count. There's a way you can actually check it in the other game. You can basically go and fight the other dudes, but they're basically immortal, so you have to fight Kafka. Kafka! Your behavior is dishonorable. I can't allow this. So he has this ability called Shock, which is basically like a sword attack that just does like a bunch of damage in an area. He's literally one of those characters you wish you could actually keep because, like, this is a really overpowered move. Like, it costs no magic, and he essentially just does, like, major damage to everything on screen. And it levels up with his weapon from what you can see in the, uh, in the stat stuff if you ever look at his stuff outside of the game. So it's actually really powerful, this thing. Like, you could give him the Atma weapon at, like, a high level, and he could just clear an entire field with one move. It'd be nuts. But, yeah. Kafka's gonna run. He's a cowardly little bitch. Oh, Leo. Always the consummate soldier. Where are you, Kafka? Show yourself. Emperor Gestal. I need you here. Leo. My liege. I'm sorry I deceived even you, Leo. My purpose has been to gather magicite and grow powerful. Please understand me. But Emperor... Don't say anything. I understand how you feel. <laughs> That's right. What we have to do now is collect Magicite. My liege, what have I been fighting for? Leo, I think I'd like you to take a nice long snooze. Very long. <laughs> so, 
You think you hit me? That was simply my shadow. And how did you like my guest doll? I should have been on the stage. Well, General... You're such a goody two-shoes. Shut up, Kefka. I oughta... Oh, a threat? You're such a violent little brute. I'll tell your liege I had to exterminate a traitor. Hate. Hate. HATE! I feel some incredible magic power here today. Wave after wave of pure magical energy. So the Espers are understandably very pissed at this development and are now heading to Thamasa to destroy Kafka. Wait! We're here to help! Hurry! Get going! So they're flying drunk too, but they're eventually going to make their way to Thamasa. Here we go. I'd say you're all charged up, boys and girls. Or whatever. Say, remind me to show you my Magicite collection someday. You might see a few familiar faces. Now, for a little Magicite Hocus Pocus. First, let's neutralize your abilities. Now, little Espers, let's see what you got. Take me on. Fine. Here I am. Fire two. Fire three. <laughs> Imagine thinking you could defeat me. This is rich. <laughs> now, my little magicite pretties. Come, and help me build the magical empire of Kefka. <laughs> ooh, ooh, they're warm to the touch. What treasures. This is ridiculous. I had no idea you were such wimps. Time to put a stop to all this. <laughs> I think I have plenty of magicite for the time being. 
That is, until I make my way through your precious sealed gate. I don't believe this. General Leo. People only seem to want power. Do they really want to be like me? I... I wanted to learn so much more from you. Interceptor! That's a nasty wound! We not only lost Leo, but Shadow too. Curse the Empire. This will have to do. He was so gentle. I'll go with you. Now I'm worried about Edgar and the others. I wish I could say they were safe. I'll speak of the devil. We've been had. The Emperor is a liar. Thanks to Edgar, we escaped before anything bad happened. Way to go, Edgar. I got to know the gal who brought us tea. After a while, she just blurted out the whole crooked plan. So, you finally hit pay dirt, eh? Watch your mouth. There are ladies present. I was a perfect gentleman. General Leo's gone. Kafka did him in. Sir Leo? Gone? What a waste. He was their finest soldier. We need to rethink our plans. Let's return to the airship. May I accompany you? Who are you? He's one of this town's citizens. He's descended from the mage warriors of yore. I think he can be a big help. We must expect the Empire to flex its newfound muscle soon. Me too. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, right, kid. What? Who is this puffed up aerobics instructor anyway? Kid's got quite a lip. I'm gonna paint your portrait. Whoa, stop, stop. All right, already. If you insist, that's better. Let's go. What's wrong, lover boy? How old are you? Ten. Why? I'm coming along too. You've grown up entirely too fast. Lighten up, okay? So, we lost General Leo. A really powerful character that they decided to more or less just off because he was way too darn powerful. And now... We gotta get on the airship and rethink our plans. The Empire's after the sealed gate. They're looking for some statues or something. No! Oh, those silly espers. They think they opened the gate themselves. 
The statue should be just ahead. If we can just get our hands on them, we'll have everything we ever dreamed of. Come quickly. What's wrong, Terra? The island. The world is groaning in pain. <laughs> now this is power. This in my magicite. Now nothing can stop me. The beginning of all magic. Those? It is said that they somehow neutralized each other's power and sealed themselves away. And if the three statues should ever be moved out of alignment, the resulting imbalance of power would... rearrange the face of our planet. What? So we've got our floating continent now, and we basically have to go and stop them from using the statues to basically destroy the world. So, with that, we've got about 11,000 gold here, and I need to sell off some things. Gotta keep the assassin. I'm getting rid of the break blade. It's basically useless at this point anyway. Tempest isn't going to do me any good. I need the cash. Get rid of one of the mithril rods. Mithril shield and the helm. Gold helm, mithril helm, ninja gear. Cotton robe, silk robe. And one of the Gaia gears, might as well. And throw those two out. Okay, so we got basically everything we need. We're gonna go ahead and set, uh, like, uh, spend up here. And here's where we're gonna do a touch bit of grinding because we need, um, our three powerhouses, basically. So we're gonna keep locking the party because he has to be there right now as the only person who knows Doom. We're gonna have Edgar, Sabin, and Celeste. So poor Terra, unfortunately, gets the back burner once again. Alright, so I just unequipped everybody because I want to make sure that I have this thing set up properly. He's got the Genji Glove and the Atlas arm Armlet. So that with the Hawkeye stuff is basically going to make him a god. Um, Celeste, I'm giving the Atma Weapon to. Actually, I'm going to just optimize her and then add my weapon. There we go. Optimize him. Oh, shoot. I forgot. We don't have enough stuff for everybody now. Crap. Because they can't wear half the stuff that was there. Shoot. I forgot about that. Well, we better get some body armor for these guys anyway. Um, where were we at on him? He was learning some stuff. He got a lot of those already learned. I'm gonna just put him back on Rama. I think that's where I was with him. 
he was learning Unicorn. Oh no, not Unicorn. He was even learning Kieran, and then he was learning Carbuncle. That was right. Okay. So I'm gonna put him back on Phantom. She doesn't really need that one, so I'm going to put her on Carbuncle now. So I'm gonna give him the Gingy Glove too, just because it's you know like it's gonna be worth it to do so later on. Give him the Hyper Wrist, even though it does nothing. Okay, so for him, what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, put the back guard on, and I'm going to put the Gale hairpin on him. He's basically just our, like, no bad scenarios type character. And of course with her, we have to have the earrings. Okay, so with what we've got set up now, um, we're actually set to do my thing, so we are going to just take off. There's some things we have to go and do anyway, besides go to the floating continent. That's not something we can do immediately. Um, but one thing we gotta do is that we have control of the airship now, and there's a secret little island up here. And I come here because there is a secret little monster here that's kind of unique in some ways. And you'll see it here in just a second. Oh, crap. The Leafer and Dark Winds are here as well, I forgot. Well, we'll get rid of them real quick. There we go. Okay, so... I think what I want to do is I want to be here in the forest. I think. I think it's out in the open plains too, but I think he shows up better in the forest. There we go. Entangir. So this guy, why we're here. Um, and we, the reason why we have Locke here is because he has a special ability called Doom. That you can cast on this invisible dude. Oh. I forgot that he does Medio every time he, you do that, so he nearly kills you. But you get 10 magic points for killing that SOB, meaning you can level up your magic like mad here. It is super awesome. So basically what we just do is we heal up Locke, and we're basically going to use everybody else to cure him. We're going to use him to unlock a bunch of spells, because it's super easy with him here. Uh, let's see... Yeah, that put him way higher. That was 30 points to those two, because it was 10 each, so... She went and got safe right off the bat, and got halfway to reflect in one fight, so... This is gonna be pretty awesome, not gonna lie. But the reason we're also doing this is because, obviously, we're gonna be going up onto that island, and everything up there is really powerful. And we're supposed to be around level 25 when we go onto the airship to do, to do that part, so... I need to level them up a little bit before we go up there. Because otherwise they're probably going to die. And unfortunately, my boy Locke here, he's not going with them. We have to leave some space open and you guys will see why, but uh... We more or less have to keep this on the, uh, on the easy streak, so... We're gonna have him do Doom again. So the reason that this works is that the Entangir is actually an invisible behemoth. And his invisibility actually makes him really weak to magic attacks. So when you're invisible, you're basically weak to like any kind of spell you can think of off the top of your head. It's kind of nuts. Oh shoot. He didn't keep his uh... His Esperon, that's right, I forgot we unequipped everything, okay. So he's done with Rama now. I'm gonna put him on... Kieran. Why not? I'm gonna put him... Oh, he's gonna stick it out because he needs to get Vanish and Berserk. I forgot. Um, so he's gonna keep that for one more round. She's gonna keep that for a couple more rounds because Shell and Warp take a bit. 
Um, yeah, we're in really good shape, like, no lie. They'll have pretty much all the spells by the time I'm done here. Especially if I keep on getting these, uh, Entangir back-to-back -back like this. I wish Locke was not the last one every time. And as long as I keep on dodging that Meteor, I don't even have to heal. So, here we go. Oh yeah, we all just learned a bunch of spells. Cool, so... With that... Um... Saban's not really going to be using his cure for anything, so we're going to just heal him. Save. And I believe he's done with Phantom now, so I'm going to put him on Maduin to give him some more spell stuff. She's getting real close on all of those. Of course, we'll save that again. And I think Unicorn... Yeah, I've officially hit that one, so now I just need to get the rest of these. Uh, I'm going to use this opportunity also with, to get one of them with Ifrit so that they can learn the Drain ability because Terra currently learns that and it's really good. But it's a really difficult spell to learn because you can only learn it from Ifrit. And he's got it set at 1 for a maximum gain, so it takes a long time. This one, but this one. Doom. Yeah, Doom's a little costly. I forgot. I need to put him not on the Atlas on him, but I need to give him the uh, gold hairpin. Because it basically makes uh, spells super cheap to cast. Cool. So we just got a bunch of things. So, okay, uh, where is it? I thought I had it. Oh, shoot. Maybe I don't have it. I thought I had the... hairpin. Oh, well. Well, I can go get it, but uh, that leads me having to do something that I don't want to do, so... Never mind. Okay, well, we're gonna just keep on going. Because I want to make sure that they get their spells. So we're probably not going to do the uh, Floating Continent tonight, that might be tomorrow. Uh, obviously because we're getting kind of low on time now, and... Yeah, I don't want to rush this part because this is literally the best you're going to get. There's no monster in this game or anywhere else that gives you a full 10 per kill without doing something way more powerful than you later on, so... Right now we're going to make the sacrifice, and we're going to just keep on grinding here for the rest of the night, probably, and then I'm going to uh, call it, and then we will be back here tomorrow after I grind some more off-camera, and we will hit the floating continent. Of course, there's a few more things I have to go and do. I forgot. There's some things I still have to go do uh, besides this part. Um, there's some espers we can unlock at this point that are, like, kind of secretive, and if I don't get them now, you don't get them at all, so... I don't want to miss out on that opportunity. So we are going to... Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna give her Shiva. That one, there we go. Oh, I need to, uh, tent up, I forgot. Poor Locke here is without magic at the moment. I guess I could just get on the airship and go down to that dude and get a free healing, but... You know. Yeah, this island is really awesome for this, because with the Entangir, I'm essentially just power-leveling spells. So... Doom. I could technically do this with everyone, 
But these are the guys I kind of want to do it most with because they are like... They are some of the characters I'm going to be using a lot later on. So... We're just going to take the hit and give it all to them. He can learn Cure 2 from Unicorn. So I'm going to have him switch to... I'm going to have him do Shout now. He's got a little more, one more, and he's going to get Fire and Ice 2, and then I'll be done with him from a doing. She's already halfway to Ice 2 on Shiva. Poor Lock ate the big one on that Meteo attack, so... Darn these Leafer and Dark Wind. weak experience points and very few gil. That is the one downside, of course. The Entangier gives you a bunch of magic points. It gives you nothing in terms of experience or, like, money. So even though I kind of need the money, I'm not getting any, so... We're kind of making that sacrifice here, too. Dang it! Why is he suddenly hitting Locke harder now? It's kind of ridiculous. Poor guy's getting wrecked every time now. Oh well, so that's done with that. I'm gonna give him Stray. Just either that or I give him Bismarck. The good news is he's actually really close to getting all the spells that we have at the moment, so that's already one down almost. Should be done with that one next round. He's gonna be done with that one in a few when he gets Doom. And once he has Doom, then I'll actually be in much better shape too. Um, anyway, he doesn't know it, but she knows life, I believe. I think. No, she doesn't know life either. Crap. Oh, I'm gonna use another Phoenix down. Sorry, Locke, you're the only person who knows. Oh no, he doesn't even know it. Frick. Well, with him dying every time to that Meteo attack now, he's not getting any, uh, spell points. So he's not learning anything. There we go, lock. Doom it. There we go. Good to see you survived that one. Wow, learned a bunch of things. Okay, so I think that's the last of locks for Unicorn. Oh yeah, safe and shell. I can learn that from another thing coming up here, so I'm not gonna worry about that so much. But I will go ahead and I'm gonna give him Kieran, because he needs more curing stuff. He's going for Doom now. He's pretty much close to getting those two things, and she is, I think, all set with Shiva now, so... She needs Rama bad. She has none of those spells, so we're gonna go ahead and do that for her. And Sabin is gonna cure Locke here. Alright, once I finish up with this one, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go get some of those espers, because I'm not gonna do that for tomorrow. I'm gonna do that tonight, get that out of the way, and then we will go ahead and probably call it once I get all the other things, and I will just do this off camera. Until I'm nice and leveled up and everything's good to go. She learned Bolt right off the bat, so there you go. 
Yeah, so with this thing, basically anything with a 10 times modifier can be learned in an instant, which is really nice. So we're always going to do this, come up in the air, go back into the inventory system, and I'm going to go down and get healed. And then we are going to go get the other Aspergers real quick. Get, get out of the way, Cyan. Get, get out of the way, Cyan. Jeez. Need your refreshment, absolutely. Okay, so now we're not fighting, so I'm going to take the hyper wrist off of him and put the sprint shoes on. Uh, one second. Sorry, my cat has a terrible habit of trying to destroy my blinds, so I had to stop him from doing that. Anyway, let's go ahead and get ourselves some stuff. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so, one of the first places here that has, um, one of the espers we're looking for is going to be this one, and it's the most expensive. So, we just have to do this one. It's going to take a few tries, so I'm probably going to do some, uh, chatting here about Cyberpunk, just because this is going to get a name really quickly, but I will go through the first round just so you see how it all goes. So this right here is the auction house. And it actually auctions like an auction house. So they put up an item every time you come in here. You sit down for it and you put in your bids. And if you don't bid properly, you can actually lose the items. So hopefully we have the money to do this. But there are Aspers here and unfortunately this is a Chocobo. This is astounding, a real talking chocobo. Do I hear a thousand gold pieces? So, it seems like you can own your own chocobo, but this is literally like just a joke thing because no matter what you do, when this one pops up, this kid and his dad basically buy it every time for the most insane amount of money. No, you don't. Now pipe down. I want it, I want it. Buy it. Pretty please? Well, how about it? Sure, throw in 10,000 gold. What's it gonna matter? He's gonna bid me out anyway. Are there any more bids? 500,000 gold! 500,000? Sold to this lucky person! Take it away, please! Yahoo! Thanks, Papa! Yahoo! Well, we have our treat for the day. Let's go home. Yahoo! Yippee! So yeah, it doesn't matter what you do. Every single time the Chocobo comes up, that old man and his kid will buy it. They will buy it for 500,000 gold, and it will be a wasted turn. And you have to sit through it every time, because you have you have no choice. I'm wondering what is and will be the next thing that comes up here. So you don't know. Sometimes it could be the Magicite, sometimes it's those. This is a treasure chest, so it's not what we're looking for. It's some Cherub Down, we already own some. I'm not going to bid on this, because if you do bid on this, then you will win it. So I don't want to bid. You only bid on the thing you want, or you bid on the Chocobo? Because it doesn't matter what you do with the Chocobo, you're gonna lose it regardless. But I'm not gonna waste my money getting that thing, so we're gonna do this. That's all for today, blah blah blah. What do we got in terms of money? I forgot. 32,000, so we got enough to possibly buy one. But we probably don't have enough to buy both, because I think you need like 20 and 25,000 total to buy them both. Crap, it's a treasure chest again. So anyway, back to this thing. So, Cyberpunk is out in a week. I'm super excited. The downloads start on Tuesday. I'm going to be getting that officially then. I'm going to see if I can actually get it set up on my Xbox as well, because like I said, the sooner I can stream the better, but I guarantee you it's not going to be until Thursday. 
So, if anything, I'll be streaming Thursday sometime probably early in the morning. Uh, so, be prepared for that. Um, they're going to be long streams. I'm going to go as probably as long as my headset can handle it. And then I will be playing, you know, my own game on the offside. So, but that is also why we're not going to start immediately on Wednesday. Because even though I want to, like, experience some of this stuff with you guys, I will be experiencing plenty of it with you because unlike um unlike my playthrough which i'm gonna be a uh i'm gonna be a nomad i'm gonna play a corpo for the live stream so it's all gonna be different for me all brand new and everything i won't know what's going on you know like what you know like what choices do what with this whole thing so um so it'll be still kind of brand new but with this thing the way that i can do it is if i get a chance to play some nomad I'll get a feel for the mechanics, I'll start understanding how the world works a little bit and like how I can do better in terms of like combat because I heard that starting off, you're kind of weak, you know, like and that makes sense because you're a low level character and uh, you know, it takes a little time to get powerful enough to do things. Crap, another treasure chest. So anyway, um... <clears throat> So I will be playing it on Thursday, which is the day after I get a chance to play a little bit of it myself. So yeah, expect me to be on there. I'll do my old full character customization. And uh, I haven't thought up a name for my female Corpo character yet. So if anyone has any ideas, let me know because I'm, I'm open to suggestions. Um, I already know what I'm gonna name my Nomad, so that's off the table, but if anyone out there has any ideas on what the, they would like me to name her, let me know. Uh, it's going to be open all week, so if you come up with a good name, just let me know on here and I'll, uh, I'll consider it. Another treasure chest. Crap. But I will be streaming pretty much every day. Like I said, I'm going to do it until my headset dies, so expect it to be basically just one continuous long stream, you know, like just probably hours and hours. Um, I don't know if it'll be like more than four. I'm gonna try and see, but I also don't want to like burn everyone out. So we'll we'll see how it all goes. Uh, you know, goes down. I may have to do it where if I do things, maybe I'll do like a two or three hour stint, take a break, and then come back and do another two or three hour stint later on. Um, but I will be naming her, um, and, uh, unfortunately, like, you know, the rest of the stuff is all off the table. I'm gonna be running it, like, RPG style. Funny enough, this is gonna be one of our first role-playing games where I don't have to do the voices because it's all gonna be voiced, so, um, uh, we're gonna kinda just let the characters be the characters and I'll make the choices in between. But I'm gonna play her super stealthy. Uh, she's gonna be a net runner type, so I'm gonna kind of kid her out with uh, like a lot of intelligence, a lot of cool. Because my take on her is that she's gonna be just a real, like, real mean bitch. Just, just a real, real mean bitch. And you know, obviously she's a corpo, so she's gonna be like stepping on all the people underneath her, stuff like that. But. Jeez, I forgot sometimes this drags on and you just can't get anything worth a dang. And no, buying anything in this doesn't actually change it, because even if you buy a Cherub Down, they will come back for another round of Cherub Down next time, so it doesn't matter if you buy it or not. Um, but yeah, back to it. Um, I guess we're going to go to the other place, because I can get that one without having to auction things. Um, but yeah, I'm going to play her as a net runner. She's going to be straight up a hacker. Uh, a lot of what she's going to do is probably going to be with either sniper rifles or uh, probably the mantis blades slash katanas once I can use mantis blades and once I can afford a katana. Um, but she's going to be basically, yeah, like close range fighter or long range sniper. No in between. And uh, everything else is going to be handled by her sniper abilities, so... Or by her uh, hacking abilities, sorry, so... 
yeah, it's going to be really cool. I'm super excited. It's going to make it a little tougher. I am going to play it in story mode, so any of you who are looking forward to me like trying to play it on hard mode or something, sorry, not going to be the run for it. Oh no. Whew. Don't scare people like that. I thought you were a trooper. Uh, a while ago, someone broke into the Magic Tech Research Facility and, I, and raised a ruckus. I took the opportunity to grab this. For 3,000 gold pieces, this glowing stone's yours. Yeah, receive the Magicite Seraphim. So that's one of three. Um, the two other ones are at the auction house, unfortunately. But the good news about Seraphim is that she is a big healing type. So anyone who's struggling to get spells like Regan or Life, this is the one you want to get. So that's why I put off on him actually doing Cure and all that jazz because it just isn't worth it with anybody other than Seraphim. So. We got that one unlocked. Um, hopefully with this one unlocked, maybe it will force the uh, the auction house to finally open up its gates and give me some of those, but I guess we'll see. This does technically put me under 3,000, so I may be too broke to buy them. We're going to save, because like I said, if you can't buy them, they're gone. You don't get them. It's just basically it, so I don't want to ruin that opportunity. So we're saved. And we'll see what happens here. But yeah, I'm really excited because not only are you guys are possibly going to be able to choose her name, but uh, I'm obviously going to choose her looks. And uh, I'm curious to see what all the choices are because I've heard that like this customization screen is nuts. You know, anywhere between all the tattoos, the scars, the uh, cybernetic enhancements, the way you can change your teeth, the length of your nails, that kind of jazz. Like, I want to make a real mean corpo chick, but I want to try and also make her, you know, like, you know, like a glamorous chick. Like, she obviously knows her fashion and her types, and she knows what she wants, and she's going to take it. And it's going to be real interesting to play a character that's kind of like on the uh, not-so-nice side, you know, like, willing to tell people to fuck off, or, you know, like, if anyone gets in her face, to pull a gun and just basically, like, put them back in their place. There we go. There's one. The Magicite Golem. Who will give me 1,000 gold? 5,000. 10,000. Oh, shoot. This is going to be bad. 15,000. It's going to be 25,000, I bet, before I get the chance to buy it out. Oh, this is the 20,000 one. Okay. So there we go. I got Golem. Sold to this lucky person. Take it away, please. Yay! So I got the Magicite Golem. Um... That leaves me hardly with any cash. I can't remember exactly what it is that I need to do. But anyway, that's basically what we do there, is we go through there and we um, bid for the final Esper, which is going to be Zone Seeker. And Zone Seeker, unfortunately, is, I think, 15,000, which is not too bad, but I still need to sell some things to get back up there. So, let's see. If I can do it with some of my extra crap that I don't need, I'll do it. Otherwise, I'm going to probably just put this playthrough to bed and um, grind off camera. So let's see. Yeah, why not? Keep the wall rings. I got dragoon boots. I need more. You know, as nice as tinctures are, I don't really need them. I'll just ditch those, even though I spent all that money on them like a dumb dumb. Here's any ailment except zombie. Might as well do that. There we go. I think that puts me in enough of a spot. I should be okay. I'm gonna go save, because I think that's enough to get Zone Seeker. I don't think it's really more than 25 at most. But, like I said, we're gonna find out. So, 
Here we go, back into the fray. But yeah, I definitely looked to play her stealthy. I looked to play her, like, you know, tougher and, like, obviously a lot more sure of herself. She's gonna be, uh, unscrupulous, you know, she's clearly gonna take money at any chance that she gets. Uh, she'll spend it on a bunch of things that she doesn't necessarily need, like drinks, rides, guns, whatever she needs. Um, whereas my Nomad, I'm gonna play him kind of like trying to be a nicer guy. I'm gonna just see if it works out, because I've read somewhere talking, like people talking about how you can make V actually a pretty decent dude, even though like everyone who seems to play them in like the trailers and stuff lately want to play him as a dick. He's actually not a bad person. Uh, overall and I'm curious to see what that's like you know like if you get stepped on more if things get a lot harder because you know you're trying to be a good guy in a bad guy world but uh it'll be interesting uh, I figured I'd play him like that I'm gonna try and play him most like a, a Rick Deckard type where like I'm gonna get him a freaking trench coat uh, I'm gonna actually make it my job later on once I start getting way more powerful and experience in the game to just start hunting down cyber psychos. And I'm gonna try and take him in alive. I'm gonna do like the uh, the non-lethal takedowns and see if I can save all the cyber psychos in Night City. Um, definitely gonna be a tough one. And I guarantee you there's gonna be a lot more to it than just the idea of saving them. But you know, that's gonna be part of the challenge and uh, something I'm super excited about. Plus uh, one thing I wanna do with my character is I especially wanna make him like a bounty hunter. You know, I wanna like kid him up with some good stuff. I want him to like go and hunt down marks, bring him in dead or alive. That's how I make my cash. I'm super excited, like no lie. Oh, a cure ring. They finally switched it up from the friggin' cherub down. But I'm not gonna go any melee with him. Like I thought about it, I'm, you know, I, I might make him just good enough that he can fight with his fists. Uh, cause I obviously want to take part in all those, like, fist fighting tournaments like they did in, uh, The Witcher. Uh, and clearly those are gonna, like, add to your street cred, probably open up some missions for you and stuff like that. But, uh, you know, like, I obviously don't want him to, like, make that his main source of combat, so... Like, I'll have that as, like, a side gig thing, and, uh, I'm really gonna focus on pistols with him. I want him to be, like, a gunslinger, and not, like, a guy who, like wields a bunch of other powerful things, like just a straight up gunslinger, or like a six shooter, or a freaking that shotgun pistol that the nomads get, I'm super excited for that. Just the idea that I could possibly take that gun from the beginning of the game and I could just kit it out all the way through my gameplay, you know, like from this measly little like common gun that does literally nothing to like something so modded that it's literally a legendary like weapon that does, you know, just a like a, a crap ton of damage with every shot. And, uh, you know, like, I want to try out some of the tech weapons, too. You know, like, I'm actually intrigued by the notion that it has two modes. Like, one of them is obviously, like, you know, like a, a blast that shoots through walls. And then there's one that lets you actually charge the blast up like a Mega Man charge. So I can, like, shoot off an even more powerful bullet. I don't know, it looks, it seems really awesome. I'm super excited about that, so we'll see. Um, but I definitely want to see how um, the game plays with that, because it's going to be real interesting, you know, with how the guns work and how everything else works, how my character will work in that universe, you know? Like, I, I'm excited to do that first mission where you save that one chick from the ice bath, and all the scavengers. I'm really excited to see what the, uh, you know, the crossing the border lifestyle thing is from the Nomad lifestyle. I'm really excited to meet Pan Am, uh, go and check out the brain dances. That's another thing I'm really hoping is going to be really cool and like, you know, integral to the, to the game. Um, you know, it's just, there's so many things I want to go out and do and I don't know where to start, but like I said, we're only a week away, and it's gonna be six days, you know, like, technically from 10 o'clock when we can download it, so 
It's getting closer and closer, guys. It's more or less why I'm here playing this, too. You know, it's just something to do to keep my mind off of it. But here I am, jawing about it while I'm playing another game. <laughs> and like I said, there really hasn't been a game like this for me in a long, long time. You know, like, Final Fantasy was one of my big things growing up, and when they obviously had the huge hiatus between, uh... Sorry, between 12 and 13, when they were obviously trying to figure out what they were trying to do with all the extra Final Fantasy 13 stuff, which they ended up turning into Final Fantasy 15. You know, it was one of those eras where I was kind of dry on that content, and I was really looking forward to Final Fantasy 13. And it was a shame that that game really let me down, but it just was Kingdom Hearts level ridiculous on all the things it wanted you to know and understand about its universe. And it did nothing right in terms of trying to make it organically fit into the experience, trying to learn everything. And then, you know, Red Dead Redemption was one of my favorite games for a real long time. And then when they announced that they're obviously doing a second one, that was going to go into the backstory of, you know, John Marston and the rest of them. I got super excited. Um, but even with that, you know, like, as excited as I was for that, that game, you know, like, I only knew about it for four days, or for four years. Oh, there we go. Magistrate Zone Seek. Okay, and this one's the cheaper one, so cool. This should be much easier to get. 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000. Okay, everyone stop bidding. 7,000. Gotta bid it. Nothing I can't buy. 8,000. Someone's gonna say, oh no, it's 10,000. Oh, cool. Well, there we go. Sold to this lucky person. I got them both now. Nice. Zone Seek. So now I have 15k. I'm gonna go buy some armor for uh, the other two, which I, you know, clearly accidentally sold the gear out from under. Uh, let me see what they have here. I think this stuff is still technically leveled back to, like, when we were here last. Yeah, it's all garbage. I could technically get the Kaiser back, but I don't want it. Um, I may have to get it. Let's see what the defense stuff is here. Headband. Okay, so I need to just go back to Thamasa. That's basically like the most powerful stuff in the game right now is the stuff in Thamasa. Everything else is lower leveled. And it's gonna be like that until, um, you know, we complete the game segment here and unlock the new areas. So. With that, back to Thamasa to get ourselves some gear. So yeah, unfortunately this place got torched, so a lot of sadness here. A lot of somber moments. Gold shield. So a tiger mask, I believe, no. I thought it gave you like a, like a strength boost or something, but I guess not. Anyway, that's good for them. Get gold helmet for him because obviously it's all I can use. Alright, so gold armor and Gaia gear. I can at least get Gaia gear for him. Gold armor is gonna have to wait. Um, I'll just see what I can sell out of here. Put that back on. Boink. I sell all the other extra crap. I'm just gonna sell these off. Screw it. You know, like, I, as much as I want to keep them to throw as enemy weapons, like, they're not gonna do me any good coming up here, so... I'm gonna keep the heal rod that's gonna come in handy later on, and you'll see why. Uh, two mithril shields going down. I'm gonna sell another friggin' jewel ring. I don't need them. Ten tenabars, basically uh, zero sum sale. 
Let's see. I'm gonna sell the rest of these. As much as they are helpful, they're not that helpful. Gold armor for him. And I guess I'm gonna go buy a freaking claw set for him again. I guess. I don't know. I'm gonna put the Thunder Saber on him. Flame seems to be absorbed more often than others, so... I'm gonna just cover that base right now. I could get him a stout spear. I forgot about that. Meh. Okay, so before Thamasa, the closest place was a place like Zen. So I'll just go back there. I'm gonna check and see what their, you know, their weapon things are. They gotta be better than freaking Jadur, of all things. So, we'll check them. And then we're gonna wrap this up, because, uh, we've officially hit the two-hour marker, and while I could keep going, um, like I said, we're gonna be back at this tomorrow, and I need to do a little bit of grinding before we do that, so... No... Crap. Ah, crap. Where is the good stuff in him? One of these day, one of these places has, um, something for... Um... For saving. I remember that they do, so I'm not gonna... Stop until I find his claws. Because I need to double up his stuff so he can fight. Oh yeah, so because of the island being up in the air now, this place is completely overshadowed by that continent floating in the air now. So it's basically like nighttime here, just nothing but darkness. Ah, the poison claw. That's a 95, uh... I think it's better than that one that he had. But what does he have in terms of a claw? The fire knuckle is pretty powerful. I swear that there was a place that had the fire knuckle. I just don't remember where it's at now. Yeah, 122. Yikes, that's a that's a powerful beast. Well, one of these places has the fire knuckle. I'm gonna keep looking for it. Because we're gonna need that fire knuckle. Maybe if it's not here, maybe it's in Vector. I'll check. Um, let me see. Blah blah blah. Poison claw. Crap, okay, I'll check Vector. If it's not there, I'll just take whatever's the most powerful thing. Probably gonna be the one in Vector. Yoink. Welcome to Vector, home of the turds. Oh cool, the place is still on fire. I wonder if they'll sell me something. Oh nope, nope, no, they're all out. Uh, maybe I can check with Narsh? Narshi? Narshi, Narshi, yeah. I'll check with Narshi. I know they actually do update their stuff here in a random way, so hopefully that'll be enough. Go. I'm parking right in front of Narshi. Oh, they don't have it here. Crap. Crippity crap. Well, we're gonna do something real quick here just to kind of like. Show off another character that we can get. Whoa! I've been made. I am Lone Wolf, the pickpocket. I wanted that treasure. 
Oh, he stole it. So now we gotta try and catch up with him. Yeah! Oh, so he's running off into the mines and we're gonna chase him down. Come back here, you butt munch. Oh yeah, there's another secret character out there. You can see him in that little top right hand corner. He hides in that little cave up there. But that's where the wolf went, so we need to go up and right to get to where he's at. And everything here is weak, by the way, because it's all level one stuff, so we're gonna kill it really fast. Oh, and I forgot, when you wield the uh, Atma weapon, you can't do runic. I forgot about that. Shoot. Because that is actually problematic. I need her runic ability. So he cut up this way. We're back to the battlefield that we were at against Kafka and all those imperial assholes. Going back up to the Esper. There he is. Oh, and look! Halt! Don't move or this one's dust! Koopo! Grr! Got a wild one here. Whoa! Grr, you'll never get this gold hairpin. So now you have a choice. You can either save the gold hairpin or you can save the Moogle. If you save the gold hairpin, the Moogle dies. If you save um, the Moogle, He's gonna toss the gold hairpin and fall to his death. So, thank Koopo. Can you talk? And welcome to one of my favorite characters in the game. Human-loving, fast-talking, street-smart, slam-dancing Moogle. Say hello to Mog, everyone. That old psycho, Rama, came to me in a dream and told me to be expecting you. And now, I'm gonna join your party. Hmm, but this is how it's gonna be then. Take this. Yeah. So he just commits suicide, basically. And there goes the uh, treasure with him. I'll wait in the airship, Koopo. So that Esper is basically not doing anything at the moment, it's just sitting there, which is fine. We're gonna leave it there. But now we've got ourselves a new character, so hey. Bonus. I'm glad I remembered to do that too, because I would have forgotten. And I would have never have gotten them, and I would have been really upset. Okay. One down. So now that we obviously can't get Saban his claws here, I need to go to the one place that I can basically get him set up with gear. Which is gonna be back at Albrook with the poison claws. Because I obviously don't remember where to get the fire knuckles. And it's going to be too much hassle to try anyway, so... We'll just get him those weaker claws on the offhand. There we go. There we go. And now he's got a poison claw. Cool. So there we go. Now he's set. And we'll leave town. And we will call it here. 
So thanks everyone for joining me. Um, like I said, I know this was a random thing because I said I was going to do Donkey Kong Country. And I really was planning on it, but the more I thought about it, the more I realized, you know, like, I wrapped up everything else. I wrapped up Mystic Quest, I wrapped up Terra Enigma, I wrapped up Dead Space 2. And, you know, like, leaving this one hanging with everything else getting wrapped up just felt wrong. So, so we're going to try and wrap this thing up as well and see if we can't, uh, call this one before we hit Cyberpunk next week. So... We're on a rush. Um, I hope you guys are ready for it because there's going to be plenty more of this where this came from. Um, we will be back uh, tomorrow going to go to the floating continent. So I hope you guys are all set for that and I hope you are all ready for some action. So thanks again for watching and uh, have yourselves a good night. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.